And then I had a phone call from my mother-in-law and she said, you know, your husband makes movies. I said, yes. And she said, um, and what do you think he looks at through the camera when he's shooting? <laughs> and he said, they are beautiful and they are intelligent and they are everything. And one day, if it goes beyond the camera to something else, you will not have ever lived in a marriage with your husband. And, uh, you know, those were wise words. And uh, that was her way of saying it is time to live together. Mm -hmm. So uh, uh, we looked at whether it would be possible for Malcolm, given his work, for him to live in Milan or would he or, or could I move? And um, really, he's uh, he by the time we got married, he had a successful you know, he had based himself in London successfully. And uh, so I moved. So there you go. Yeah. And, and one thing, I mean, I got that, but you said how your mother-in-law said it to you. And what came in <laughs> my mind is, you know, I think about it. A lot of people would go angry, you know, or would go totally resistance on, the, on, the, on, that, on those words, right? Who are you to tell me what I need to do? You know, it's ah. between me and my husband. Leave, leave us alone. Who do you think oh you are? You know, God. you know, in all yeah. that way. So, how come you didn't take it so personally that that you that you heard actually what you said? You know, that that was of her way saying, you know, it's time for you to start living a married mar married life. Well, um, first of all, I have a great deal of respect for my mother-in-law. My mother-in-law is an, an extraordinarily uh, deep, uh, intelligent uh, woman with a lot of experiences, life experience. Um, and I get along with her like a house on fire. We really, we, we have a great relationship. Um, and, uh, you know, when a woman talks to a woman, woman should listen. Mm -hmm. And I did. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. I mean, something younger generations can definitely take in how to say in you know in observation but to count something into the consideration that's the word that i'm looking for into the consideration of when you talk to each other you know that you listen for maybe what people want to say we just had uh, the uh, discussion not long ago you know when usually when people are all about you like even in a ways that you think they're offending you or going into your way when you look behind is actually love and concern for you nothing else so i yeah. think when you when you look at it that way it just disappeared uh, yeah. like and and you can then get the message that she wants to get you not <laughs> not being offended by it yeah i don't i don't come from the 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 thinking that people are here to harm you you mm -hmm. know um I think that's um, in biophilia. Um, it's one of the things that you study is that there is no harm out there. There is only nature and living in a loving way. Um, and if you are, if you embrace that kind of lifestyle, then everything is is a lesson. Everything is there for your own learning. So. I embrace life. It doesn't matter the falls I get. It doesn't matter the winds I have. Um, I embrace it. E everything there, there is a, a teaching behind everything. And I think it would be foolish for me not to listen to <laughs> my mother-in-law. 